Where do you rate this one among your starts? Well, besides two walks in the seventh, I would probably say it was my best one of my uh, major league career for sure. And why? What was working? I mean, I just think that, uh, I mean, Adley was calling a great game back there, mixing up uh, speeds really well. Um, you know, I felt like I had uh, good command. I felt like I kind of got everything uh, back in order for, you know, what I was struggling with the last couple starts. And obviously my defense, Santander, I mean, I, I can't say enough about that catch. Obviously I was pumped up, um, you know, but everyone else out there was just making great plays. And, um, you know, overall, like, I just think that it instilled a lot of confidence in me to be able to just go out there and do my job and know that uh, even if I do give up some contact, like, I know that I got a great group of defenders back there to, uh, you know, protect me. What did you think off of that on that ball in the seventh? I can't say that on air. <laughs> but I can tell you that uh, whenever I saw him catch it, I blacked out, lost my mind, and then... Um, Gave him about as many hugs as you can give a guy, um, you know, but definitely owe him a nice uh, fat steak, maybe even a whole cow after that catch. <laughs> how, much, how much fun was it pitching so, crisp, pitching so crisply, you know, with the game going so quickly? Oof. I mean, whenever game, games like that, they just go by, you know, they're, they're just smooth. You know, it's the best way to put it. It's kind of, you know, you're just, you know, it kind of feels like it's clockwork. Like you get out there and uh, you get three outs, you come back in, and you know it feels like every five minutes you're back out there. And it's, uh, you know, it was easy to kind of stay in that routine, you know. But obviously we got a couple of great hits from Gunner and Adley, and um, you know that kind of put us over the top. So um, overall, like that, you know, it's the best way to pitch. It's my favorite way to pitch. But you know, and hopefully we have a few more outings like that. But it doesn't always go that way. And uh, you know, I think that we saw that last couple outings that I had. And um, you know, I'm really happy about this one. You had a career high 18 swings and misses, but you also got a ton of soft contact. What was allowing you to miss so many barrels tonight? I just think the change of speeds, you know, I thought I felt like I was locating the ball much better uh, tonight. Just kind of put my slider where I wanted it. Um, I change up where I wanted it. Uh, you know, it, I and my fastball was working for me tonight as well. So, you know, whenever you got, you know, three, you know, solid pitches working for you and kind of uh, being able to put it in the general area that you need to put it in. I mean, outings like that happen. But, you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to dismiss that they're also a great team. You know, they got a good lineup and they had a really good uh, first month. So, you know, going out there and just staying aggressive, knowing that they had a great first month and they're still able to kind of come out of, you know, maybe a little bit of a slump that they're in at any point in time. I mean, you still have to be aggressive. So um, and I think that we both Adley and I did a great job and we were on the same page most of the night. Tyler, we saw some of this last year. Um, before the injury, but I mean this season with exception of maybe one or two starts I mean you've been really consistent for the most part of the season your ERA is now in basically top 10 in the American League Is this the Tyler Wells that you know a healthy Tyler Wells that we can we may be able to see the rest of this year? I mean for me, I don't even think it's so much about health as much as it is my standard um, you know, I I feel like uh, I hold myself to a very high standard and, um, you know, and I know that all the other starters, all the other players in this clubhouse hold each other to a very high standard as well. And I mean, I'm not going to dismiss like, you know, seeing what Bradish did last night, um, seeing what Dean did the other night, like, and seeing what they did in Atlanta, you know, we're always pushing each other. And um, I think that we're all kind of feeding off of each other right now. We're just trying to push each other to be the very best, you know, I, and, you know, feeling good is, you know, a benefit, but I don't think that that's what's making me, you know, feel really good right now as far as, like, my outings go. I think that it's the constant, uh, you know, competition between each other. Tyler, you pretty, pretty said that you would, if you hadn't had the two walks, you would have gone out for the eighth. Or do you view yourself as a guy who, who at some point will go all the way, you know, will want to, want to take the game all the way to the end? Yeah, I mean, I hope so. You know, that's that's the goal for me at some point. I mean, that usually is, I would say, the goal, you know, every time I go out to out to pitch. But, um, you know, after seeing, you know, kind of what Sandy Alcantara did last year where he had so many complete games and, you know, picking up the bullpen and keeping the bullpen fresh, I think that um, from a team perspective of that, that would be ideal for, you know, some of us. I mean, Lyles did it last year. Dean did it last year. I think Bradish, you know, came within and out of it last year. You know, so I'm hoping that I'm able to join that uh, little fraternity here soon.